This week in the Missouri Senate, we review more issues that may be revisited during next year's regular legislative session. This issue of witnesses being intimidated from testifying. Senator Tony Luktemeyer of Parkville sponsored Senate Bill 857 this year. What happens oftentimes is you have an individual who commits a violent offense and they're a member of a gang and either the criminal defendant themselves or members of the gang will then intimidate witnesses who are the only eyewitnesses to the crime from coming in and testifying. There actually have been cases, and we heard about this during the committee hearing, of witnesses actually being shot and killed to prevent their testimony. He adds there is a federal witness relocation program. What we're doing is we're setting up a similar fund under state law. That's the bill that I sponsored. The governor asked for a million dollars to be allocated to it in his state of the state this year. This is the fund that will be set up to make sure that we keep those people who are critical witnesses in in criminal cases safe before trial. Senator Luke DeMeyer's proposal was revisited during this year's first extra session. So it's really important if we're going to reduce violent crime and make sure that we're getting violent offenders off the streets and behind bars, that we have cooperating witnesses. And this fund is intended to make sure that we have a higher rate of cooperation in those types of violent cases. Also a part of the first extra session. This bill is basically targeted at St. Louis City Circuit Attorney's Office. With Senate Bill 889. Basically, it expands the scope of the Attorney General's office, giving them authority to take over any gun-related and any carjackings that take place in the city of St. Louis. However, this is unprecedented in the state and the history of Missouri. The Attorney General only comes in on a local prosecutor if they're invited in, or if there is an appeals case, or if there is a conflict of interest. Senator Carla May of St. Louis says this comes after rules relating to guns were changed statewide. It's hard to get a conviction now on a gun case in Missouri because Missouri changed the definition of unlawful use of a weapon. And now that only applies when a person carries a weapon into a place like a government office or a city hall or something like that. Other similar changes have been proposed for next year. On top of that, Missouri already has the Castle Doctrine laws, but became the 25th state to adopt the Stand Your Ground laws. So we have a lot to hold the state of Missouri accountable for. And at the same time, are we being hypocritical when we're not bringing the attorney general in on all the prosecutors in the state, but doing it on just St. Louis City? The first regular session of the 101st General Assembly will begin at noon on Wednesday, January 6th. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate, plus see a complete list of pre-filed legislation by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the State Capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.